Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little geometry problem. So we have a 3-4 prime uh, triangle and we have the area of this green box. So the area of the green box is what we're essentially looking for. So um, if you'd like to pause the video and try it on your own, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into a solution. So what we're going to notice here is that a 3-4-5 triangle, first off, if you didn't know, 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. So that's 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. So this is, in fact, a right triangle. And in addition to being a right triangle, it's also going to have lots of similar triangles in it. So this angle right here is a right triangle. This is a right angle. So what we notice is we have this shared angle. So this triangle right here is going to be similar to the outer triangle because it shares two angles, so it must share that third angle. Similarly, this triangle on the outside is also going to be similar to our outer triangle. And this is really going to tell us about all we need. So let's define a new variable. And the new variable I'm going to define is going to be A. And A is going to represent the side length of one side of this square. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can make use of similar triangles. So similar triangles. So that's the method that we're going to use to solve this problem. So if we're looking at similar triangles, we know that this side A divided by 5, so this, uh, this is the short side over the long side. Short side over long is going to be this 3 over this side 4. So that's going to equal 3 over 4. Oh, sorry, that's not yes. um, So A over um, this side over here. So whatever this side is here, so we'll call this tentatively B. So A over B is equal to 3, 4. So sorry about that. That's clearly not 5. So if we solve this for B, we're going to end up getting, multiplying 4 thirds, uh, we're going to get 4 over 3 times A. So B is equal to 4 thirds A. Uh, if we do the same thing, let's look at this side over here. So we can see that here we have some side C. And we can make use of similar triangles again. So once again, we have the small side over the long side now is going to be 3 over 4. So once again, we're going to have uh, small over long. But now we're going to have this new side C divided by this side A is equal to this 3 over 4. So now when we solve for C, we don't multiply those out. And we end up getting just C is equal to 3 over 4 A. But we know that this entire length of this side over here is 5. So it looks like I can just take B plus A plus C is equal to 5. So what is b plus a plus c? Well, it's 4 over 3a plus 3 over 4a plus just our side a. So our side a is by itself there as well. So if we know these three are going to be equal to 5, we can now solve for a. That's going to factor out that a. We're going to get 4 thirds plus 3 quarters plus 1 is equal to 5. Finding common denominators, this is going to be a oops, uh, times. Common denominator of 3 and 4 is 12. So this is going to be 4 times 4, which is 16, plus 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 12, divided by 12, is equal to 5. So we're going to get a times 16 plus 9 is 25, plus 12 is 37. So 37 over 12 is equal to 5 giving us that the side length is going to be 5 times 12, which is 60, divided by 37. But remember, our goal wasn't to find the side length. Our goal was to find the area. So the area is going to be the square of the side length, which is going to give us 60 squared over 37 squared, which is going to give us 3600 divided by 
1,369. I did not have 37 squared memorized. That's just uh, what it's going to be if we work it out. Um, so ultimately, our area uh, in a little bit more useful form would be about 2.63 if we were to multiply that out. So our answer is about 2.63, but if we want the exact, it's 3,600 divided by 1,369. All right, so I hope you enjoyed working through this problem. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have your own video idea, please submit it via email. And as you're working through problems on your own, think once, think twice, and when you really get stuck, think thrice.